Hello. Hello. We've come to collect something for Major Cal. Been expected, you boys. There it is. A lovely piece of furniture. This? <laughs> yep. Oh, you reckon you get it on there? Oh, we'll have to, won't we? All right, come on, Donnie, can't. Let's go. Running all the way, sir. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. You're not going to put that there without a piece of padding or felt or something? Yeah. It's a valuable piece of furniture, man. How much is it? 825. Nicker. We're in the wrong game. What do you reckon he's been up to? Ripping off a bank? Ripping off the tax, man. It's deductible, that is. There you are, boys. Help yourselves. Oh, thanks. Cheers. Ow! First day off in months, he gives us a desk job. Yeah, beats me what he wants it for. He carries his office in his head. Oh, well, he's getting big headed, you see. Come on, move in your car, please. At 800 quid, Carly a killer. Score five to base out. Cut it loose, it's gonna take us. What was that? I think we just lost our draws. No, don't get excited, love, not you. Just marshal us up some local mobile support and make it snappy. Say snappy, didn't it?
gonna do? <laughs> Tell them what's happened. Get help. Man's on his way. What do you mean, what do I expect you to do? Just get us out of here, that's all. I don't know. What street are we in? Sutton Close. Sutton Close. House, house, what house? Gateways. Gateways. What'll you do? Yeah, yeah, we pulled it, but... What? Wait two hours, then what? It's a man, we're surrounded. All right, all right. Listen, it better be good, right? Because if we're caught, we'll talk. Got it? So it's all in your court. <laughs> right, one ring, then two. Yeah, got it. That's it. Followed your instructions. Is this you? But more personnel will back. Good, good. What the devil happened? Search me, sir. We just scared them. Might as well help. You're doing what? Nothing. He was using a phone box, saw me, he went bananas. I think I might have let him see the gun, I'm sorry. I found this in his car. Yeah? That's a phone number. Could have been the one he was calling, so I put a trace on it. There it is. Nothing else in the car? No. Find out who it's registered to. Yeah, we've done that, waiting for a call. And then send it around to forensics. Tell them I want to know where it's been and, if possible, what these men have been up to. Sir? Yeah? Hi, Mr Cowley. I'll keep my men in low profile until we know what we're dealing with. Absolutely. Yeah? I think we might be in for some big stuff. We trace that call, it's registered to Apex McKinnon's. Weapons research? Yeah. Slough factory. And the extension number's the managing director. That's Guthrie. The man who developed the SDI anti wire way. Get down there? Yes. Yes, both of you. Oh, wait, Muswell Hill, by the way, did you two pick up my desk? Uh, well, yes, sir, we did. Um, we didn't. You did and you didn't? Yeah, well, we did the first time, but not the uh, second time. <laughs> see, well, it'll be all right, cos uh, you can claim now, you see, under the new act. Yeah, bend the law a little. Yeah, sorry. Don't look back. What? Don't look back! <laughs> Why? Cowley, turning into a pillar of salt. <laughs> you know, it hadn't been for that desk, we'd have nabbed him. Now, let's turn this in, eh? Pick up one of the cars. Uh, we better go on to Apex. You know, I don't figure this at all, any of it. They didn't look that heavy. Had the tools, though, didn't they? Oh, yeah, very brave with women and kids. Yeah, marvellous. This green and pleasant land riddled with bandits. Desirable residents in a quiet little cul-de-sac. All the mod cons. Yeah, uh, this was a state set of electrified fences, guard dogs. How long before we get that here? Hello, Mr. Guthrie, please. He's expecting you. Okay. Second on the right. Yeah. An impressive display of security. Yeah, but is it all front? I don't know. They must have a couple of hundred people here with top security material passing through their hands. I wonder what they get up to when they're outside the gate. There he is. Aging whiz kid of the arms game. He's incredible, isn't he? Married three times, works all the hours God sends, and he still finds time to put some down in the nightclubs. Maybe he takes vitamin pills. Or something similar. Hey, gentlemen. Sir. Morning. What's the problem? Just checking on the lead, sir. Concerning me or this uh, establishment? Well, possibly both. All right. What is the lead? 
The two armed men holed up in a house in Muswell Hill. They got three hostages, husband, wife and child. So? Well, they took them after we seemingly disturbed them, making a phone call to your office. Really? Well, who are these men? Well, they've not been identified yet. How do you know they want to speak to me personally? We don't, but we do know that you tried to contact your office. I see. Well, what exactly do you want to know? Have I had any strange phone calls? Well, the answer is no. Well, my secretary would know more about that. Oh, Mr. Gustin. Not just now, Richard. Give us five minutes. My secretary keeps me very well insulated. She's the one you should talk to. Now, this is the number that you've got, and this is the lady who would have taken the call if there's been one. Now, Miss Kendall, these men are from CI5. Help them out, please, and get me overseas sales, Mr. Lessing. In which order, sir? These gentlemen first. Your calls always come through your secretary, sir. Hmm? Oh, yes, apart from those on the private line here. And that's a different number. Hmm. Uh. Was there something else? I am a bit rushed, as you can see. Yes, I know you are, with your laser weapons research program. Your hydrogen-powered tank engine. You know about that? Well, we have access to information on all classified projects. Well? Well, it just bothers me that everything's screwed together under one roof. What are you suggesting? We switch to making washing machines? All our classified stuff is kept there, right in here where I can see it. The whole bang shoot. In that? There's no way any unauthorized person can get into this office. No way on this earth. What about keys? One. What if you take ill? Then our head of security sits right there in that chair until I come back. You happy now? Thanks, anyway. What's that? Hmm? It says today's incoming calls. You mark some of these with a C. Why is that? Well, those are the ones I switched through to Mr. Copeland, Mr. Guthrie's personal assistant. He works in there. Is he in there now? No, he won't be back today. Oh. Do you know all these callers, do you? Most of them. All the companies they work for. Which ones don't you know? Can you mark them for me? Thanks. Can I take this with me? Do. I have a carbon. Well, thank you, Miss Kendall. You're welcome. Bye. This is a fairy set. Well, if that's what you want, that's what you shall have, because this is a magic green gate. That's how it just suddenly appeared without you ever seeing it before. So, she waved her magic wand, and boom, that came in the airplane. Did it landed in the car? Almost did. Yeah, I know it's unfitting to cast your event. And that was Well, <sighs> negative or not, that still has to be a connection, right? Place reeks of top security. And it's a one-man show. You know, he's a clever man, Guthrie. Been there 12 years, and never a leak in security. But one-man shows are vulnerable. The right kind of blackmail carefully applied, and they fall apart. Oh, by the way, the car was stolen. Forensics are working on it now. That was it. They fixed the getaway. About time. That's right. Guthrie. Full surveillance. Mr. Cowley. Oh, and tell Pacey I want a phone tap on his house and the plant. Sir, they're asking for the officer in charge. You're the man, eh? Well, listen! We're coming out! We're gonna give ourselves up! But first, you get your men back! Right back! Or the deal's off! And clear this road! Get rid of these layabouts! Now! Do as he says, Inspector. Come on, move it, move it! And that includes you three dummies! Back off! Move! Well back, well back, move those people away. Come on. All 
All right. Throw down your guns. Stop there. I said throw down your guns. Get back! Get back! When did you last see them? Yesterday. Actually, they went out early, which was unusual for them. Listen, how did they die, for God's sake? What kind of tenants were they? So-so. They spent their money on booze and records, women. Well, anything but the rent, you know. How did they earn it? Well, who knows? Skiving, the dole in holiday time, uh, their grants during term time. Grant? Well, they were students. Ah, I see. And the car? Oh, get the owner down, see if he can give us a mileage assessment. Right. Four, five. Go. The dead men were second year London School of Economics students. No records of either of them in the computer, clean. Well, they can't be, can they, the way they were behaving? No, the way they were silenced, pros don't kill for kicks. What have you found up there? Not a damn thing. Well, the police are here now. Finish up, leave the rest to them. We'll get moving. Out. This notes, biology. Vitamin A metabolism of the way. I think if they were smart enough to understand that. Give you a rule of thumb. Too smart, too dumb. Of course. Uh, Roger. Still no report of any major crime. Well, they must have pulled something. I reckon they were amateurs. Met some pros in a pub, got conned into some dirty work for cash. Right. Which has something to do with Apex McKinross. Hence, probably defense secrets. Lucas, McCabe. Well, what have you got? Schedule of Guthrie's movements. <laughs> he in there now? He was five minutes ago through his office window. He was dictating. Can you spotted anything? Well, it's a bit difficult to answer that, sir. I don't know what we're looking for. That makes five of us. You better give us a run through. I suppose you heard what these two did to my desk, McCabe. It's talk of the department, sir. A batter beyond recognition, minus its drawers. Nasty. On that evidence, I'm surprised you don't charge him with rape. <laughs> Ready when you are, sir. That's his home. Nice place, eh? You know, I bet there's a few desks going spare in there. 0759 hours left home. 814, no stops, no one else tailing him. 829? Security breach number one. They should stop and inspect every car. Even the big man himself. Who's that with him? His PA, John Copeland. How long has he been with Apex? Six years, sir. Formerly with the Ministry of Supply, Harrow and St. John's. He's said to be highly efficient. What's happening here? Oh, yes, sir. 9.46, off to a meeting with the Minister of Fuel and Power. I thought you said he was efficient. Hold it. Wind it back. What is it? Hang on. Right, stop. Forward a bit more. Right. Yeah, I thought so. Look, see? It's handing him a key. So what? A key to the safe, perhaps. That key... Where's Copeland now? Went off for the afternoon. Doesn't put much time in, does he? It's on the gate when he was his daughter's school sports day. Price state education, I say. Yeah, it must cost him an arm and a leg to send her here. 
Now, why no cars, people? Hi there. Hello. Can I help you? A bit early, are we? I don't know. What for? Well, isn't this your sports day? I hope not. Who told you that? Hmm. We're looking for Mr. Copeland. We have a girl called Copeland, Sandy Copeland, but... Now I get it. I bet you're the police. <laughs> Why would you bet that? She ran away yesterday. You are, aren't you? I know you wear scruffy clothes these days. Seen it on TV. She ran away? Well, bailed out would be a better word. I mean, she hasn't vanished. She went home. Some emotional problem, according to... According to who? Well, I overheard Mrs. Plummer on the phone to her father. He promised to have her back in a couple of days. Or so I deduced. Deduced, eh? Well, thank you very much. You've been very helpful. Yeah, very. You know, when you leave here, you ought to uh, join the police force. <laughs> no, thanks. I used to watch policewomen. Too fraught. There are easier ways of making a living. Oh, tell us. Marry a millionaire. So fraught. I love it. <laughs> She's right, though. Down, boy. You're not in your income group. Anyway, we've got an anomaly. Yeah, well, let's chase it up. them. I can't face it. You'll have to see them on your own. Sir. Back me up. Mr. Copeland? You better come in. Okay. My identification. Press? You the press? Yeah. Well, what do you want? Uh, well, we're collaborating on a feature. Uh, the men behind our space age defense program, and naturally we thought you'd oh, be. You've got a nerve, haven't you? Barging into my home without a, an, an appointment? Yes, well, we tried phoning you yesterday at Apex, but you were out. Yeah, and we called there this morning, and they said you were at your daughter's sports, so, uh, well, we went along to the school. And... Oh, that's wonderful. You went to the school. Yeah, yeah, and they said there were no sports. No, that's, uh, that's right. I, I made a mistake. Yeah, well, obviously. So we gathered because they said your daughter was here at home. Yes, she's back here for a day or two. She was uh, upset at being away from home, that sort of thing. Yeah. Look, this, um, this isn't a good time for me. I'll tell you what, I'll, uh, you drop me a line, tell me exactly what it is that you want, and um, I'll think it over. Uh, yes, all right, Mr. Copeland. We'll do that. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. <clears throat> He could be right. You tell me how to get to the other one. the base. Get me out for one, quick. Will do. Oh. Alpha one to four five. What's going on? Copeland is positive. I think we've flushed out the killers. They were waiting outside the house. And I think we've lost them. Let them go. What? I said let them go. I've just had a call from the lab. They found long brown hairs in the boot of the dead man's car. Copeland's daughter? Slow down! So that was it? Yes, when you spooked the two lads, they must have kidnapped her from the school and delivered her somewhere. I'm going over to Apex. Put a watch on the house and join me there. Out. Right. Well, come in, come in. Miss Kendall, send in some tea, would you please? And no call. Tea all right, gentlemen, or would you like something stronger? No, no, thank you. Tea will be fine. 
Now, what's going on, George? I'm not altogether unaware that I or this place are undergoing some sort of investigation. I had considered putting through a call to the Ministry. It's about your PA, John Copeland. Yeah. We think he may be on the point of making a very serious breach of security. Rubbish! He's been with me for years. Thoroughly reliable. Besides, he's been vetted time and again. I believe he's absent at the moment. Yes, his daughter's sports day or something. No, well, we went to his daughter's school and checked. There's no sports today. Now, he told the school that his daughter had run away. She was homesick, so he gave her a few days at home, except she's not there either. What are you suggesting? We think they may be holding her to ransom. Oh, come on. Sounds very much like it. And, and that phone call you were trying to trace? Exactly. Would you uh, like to check your safe, see what's missing? They must have telephoned Copeland, told him what they'd done, and to wait for instructions. Now, the instructions were, and I'm guessing here, a certain set of plans in exchange for his daughter's life. Yeah, he could have got out the plans when he came up here this morning. Well, I'm sorry to upset your reasoning, gentlemen, but there's nothing missing. Photo started them, put them back. Without the key? Yeah, I see that. Plasticine. It's easily done. Oh, my God. What, what, what do we do now? I'll send an expert up here to find out which plans he copied. Supposing Copeland shows up? I say nothing. What? Nothing. Kidnapped parents can't be appealed to or relied on. Take charge of the surveillance team round at Copeland's. Keep them well back. Doyle, you come with me. Ah. Well, we've narrowed it down for you. Well, it still entails a fair bit of legwork, I'm afraid. You said the uh, clay on the tires. Yes, yes, we're in luck there. It's peculiar only to this part of the Chilterns. I'll show you. I've marked the area. And we worked out the mileage of the car from the information given by the owner. This is about the maximum distance the men could have covered. So that's your hunting ground. Allowing for error, you have, um, say, a hundred square miles to cover. Really? Is that all? Well, don't despair. All this high ground is chalk, so you're looking for a valley. And see here. In this dry weather, so much mud can only mean a dirt track and river intersection, which suggests a water splash. If you find a recently rented farm or home near a water splash, you have your kidnapped girl. Been doing a cold, it's have you? <laughs> what happens if you don't get what you want? Well, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Well, is it fixed? What time do we take her into town? We don't. There's been a hitch. Anyone been out here? Strangers? Not a soul. Why? Copeland may have talked to the law. We're not sure yet. Well, suppose he is. What are the orders? Kill the girl and bail out. And if Copeland does deliver? Very quiet, Mac. Are you sure they're in there? They're in there. They're in the living room. Just sitting there, I think, without a light. They called anyone, Lucas? No. Nope. They've had four incoming calls in the last two hours, all social. <laughs> Copeland couldn't get them off the line fast enough. Good. It means you're still waiting to be contacted.
It's Nancy, Nancy Stokes. Can I speak to Sandy, please? Nan Nancy Stokes. Uh, uh, look, um, sh she's gone to bed. Yeah, what now? Someone on the line. Some kid asking for Sandy. Passing you in. Yes, look, um, do you want to leave a message? Um, no, it's all right, Mr Copeland. <laughs> Just there was a bit of a buzz this afternoon. Thought he might give her a laugh. Um, uh, Nancy, are, are you speaking from the school? What, what was this buzz? Well, I think I should tell her personally. Oh, no, come on, come on, you can tell me. I really don't want to wake her. She's a, she's a bit depressed. Yes, I know. How do you know? Well, it gets around about her running away. How do you know about that? The, the police were here. Police? That's impossible. Well, I think they were. Well, were they or weren't they? I'm sorry, perhaps I made a mistake. No, no, that's all, all right, Nancy. Look, just, just um, tell me what happened. Well, these two fellows were asking questions. Uh -huh. And did they say they were the police? Well, no, they didn't, actually. Look, I'm sorry, Mr Copeland. I just thought it might give Sandy a laugh. No, no, that's, uh, that's all right, Nancy. I'll, um, I'll tell Sandy that you rang. Uh, thank you, Mr Copeland. I hope I didn't disturb you. No, no, not at all. No, um, Sandy will be back in a day or two. Bye. Bye-bye. Those bloody reporters. Lucas says that car's about again. That's three times now. They've turned on the lights. She's drawing the curtains. Right, now's our chance. We find out what's going on. Okay. I wish I knew. Do you think... No. No, I don't. But suppose... No, what they want is too important to me. Oh, Bib. <laughs> Bib, calm down. Oh, can I? Oh, God, if I knew she was safe. Darling, I... she is I... safe. Believe me. All they want, all they want is the plans of the tank. And I'm here to give it to them. Three seven to Alpha One. Alpha One. It is the tank. Any attempt at contact? Not yet. Rented how recently? Oh, about three months. Well, there aren't many. Rent Act killed all that. Farm or house? Yeah, isolated near water. Can't think of any offhand, but we'll go through them on the map. Thanks. It could be, of course, your people aren't on anyone's books. Private arrangement. Eight is our sum total. Right, let's eliminate. Could you mark them up for me, please? I'd rather not mark the map. I'll get some pins. Want a cup of tea? What time is it? Well, it's getting on for eight. Ooh, I must have dropped off. Yeah, well, do you know I'll make the tea. Mark, are you awake? Yeah. And as stiff as a board. Lucas, report. Report what? It's as quiet as a grave on this end. Hang on. Lucas? You hear me? <coughs> Listen, you seen a milk up your end? Yeah, it's just a bit of wine. Yeah, well, he hasn't. The real one's here. 
Look, someone's attacked him and took his gear. Lucas, they've made contact. He's got to drive to a phone box and first and 11 a.m. This is 3-7. Give me half a one. Darling, they got in touch. When? Yes, it was outside, stuffed in a milk bottle. I'll come with you. No, 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 no. It says alone. Eleven o'clock. Much more waiting. Do you think we're doing the right thing? The police. If this is a trick. Well, why should it be? It's a perfectly straightforward transaction from their point of view. Yes, well, suppose they want more. Well, why should they? I mean, if they wanted anything else, they'd have said. Uh, I I'll come with you. No, darling, you can't. You must wait here. Look, we mustn't do a thing, not a thing, out of line. There wouldn't be a second chance. Four, five. Alpha one, what progress? Six possibles, five to go. Well, you'll have to go fast. Our man's at drop instructions. The 11 a.m. is the deadline. Well, these places are scattered over half the country, you know. Well, move, man. The girl's life's at stake. I'm moving! Four to go. Ten thirty, Mac. I'm on my way. Good luck, Bodie. We'll give them those till you're sure she's safe. And we know all the horses set around here. Jack hunts, but I'm hopeless on horseback. Yeah, well, I'm uh, sorry to have bothered you then. Not the least bother. Look, why don't you come in and use the phone? Call your boss, check the address. I was just making some coffee. Oh, well, it's very kind of you, Mrs. Dorinda. Dorinda Forbes. Do come in. Perhaps you'd prefer a beer. It is a sticky old day. Oh, yes, it is. Well, it's very kind of you, Mrs. Uh... Forbes, but I've got several more pickups to make after this one, you see. Ah, well, if you've got several pickups, another time, perhaps. Yeah. Right. There's a 
patrol box at the avenue turn off. Get there. You have five minutes. Yes, I'm here. One mile, then left, across the shopping street into Mill Lane. Call box at the end. You have four minutes. Everybody there? Hello? The 6-2, I bugged the back of his car with a bleeper. Don't lose him. I'll pick me up someone. I'm stranded. When you reach the new inn, turn right. Continue for half a mile. Turn left at Alton Avenue. Rampling? Yeah. What, is he inside? No. Well, this is Windy Farm, eh? Ridge Farm. Oh, no. Where have I gone wrong this time? I've got his horse in here. Do you know Mr. Rampling? No. We haven't been here very long. Yeah, so I see. I've been looking at your tiles. You've got a job on there, haven't you? And over there. You're not local, then. Where are you going? Sailor. No, I'm not local either. I work over at the market in Follingford. Is there another road across the valley from here? No, I'm afraid not, mate. 
Yeah, OK. Well, I suppose I'd better go on up to the main road and ask. Thanks very much. Five to base over. Base to four five. Oh, uh, yeah, get me a PNC readout quick as you can on car registration number Oscar Foxtrot Juliet. Now, head on your left. You'll see a disused factory. Drive in and stop in the warehouse yard. Where's... Where's my daughter? The plans first. Well, where is she? Why isn't she with you? She's in the van. Show me the plans. You'll get those when I've seen she's safe. stuff out of the cars. Kid. Nice little family. Yeah, just think, in a couple of years, you could be coming home with someone like him. And then they should enjoy this good time while it lasts. <laughs> 